I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. It's only been about a week, but I just really have missed making videos for you guys, but I've just been really, really busy, and I've got so much that I want to show you guys. This box just came yesterday, and all I did was pop the top open, and there's a little packing in the top. This is what it looks like. This is from Mama Bass Handmade Soaps, and I only got, I think there are four items in here, but I wanted to definitely show you guys um, what I got. I haven't been wonderful on all my unboxings or doing all my unboxings on camera lately, but um, I wanted to show you guys this one. So I have gotten a few orders. If you see me demo something that you haven't seen me unbox, I just haven't been able to do all my unboxings on camera. But anyway, we're going to do this one today. And so let's just start with, looks like, okay, the bath bombs look like they're on top. I'm going to move this back. Okay, so... I think I got two bath bombs. No, oh, this is adorable. So cute. Okay. So, this is called Happy Little Cloud. Appropriately named. It's exactly what it looks like. It's so cute. Now, I like that this is a different take on the cloud bath bomb because um, Irene just... FYI, I've seen a bunch of different kind of comments or questions floating around lately about cloud bath bombs and Irene from Body Bon Bon is the original creator of the cloud bath bombs or the cloud with the rainbow bath bombs, however you want to say it. She created those from what I can tell in 2015. So make no mistake, she is the original creator of all the cloud bath bombs. Now I like this one and I chose to get this one because it is totally, totally different. It's not just um, kind of that idea with a little different take on it. It's just completely, completely different and I love it. Um, now her embeds are always just perfectly, just perfectly placed and she always has really, really pretty bath art. This one is scented in it is scented in Avo Bath and Sea Salt Agave. So let me see what this smells like. Okay, so it is a little bit fruity and it does have that kind of oceanic note in there. It smells really good. I like it and it's different. It's different. So anyway, I like this happy little cloud. Next up we have Oh, now I've seen this one on there for a little while, and um, I was surprised she still had it when I went to place my order. This is her blue pineapple, of course. That's exactly what that is. Now, this is scented in blue Hawaiian and salty margarita. So, the blue Hawaiian scent is a really tropical scent. I'm not exactly sure what all the notes are in it, but I'm pretty sure it's probably something like coconut and pineapple, but... Okay, now that's what this smells like to me. It smells like, um, kind of like a pina colada, maybe. Um, and it does smell like the salt and the margarita, too, mixed in there. I think it's a really good balance of both of those, the blue Hawaiian and the salty margarita. So, And I know that there's going to be some color to come out of this. So, um, I liked the way this looked and the scent profile. Okay, now I've got two... No, I don't. I don't. I was going to say I have two scrubs, but it looks like I've got a whipped soap and a scrub, and I've never tried anything but her bath bombs. So I'm excited to look at the, oh my goodness. Okay, now first of all, I love the way this looks. And the name of it though, it killed me. Okay, so this is her, this is the whip soap. This is her I Love the 90s whipped soap, shaving soap. Now, I always talk about the 80s and, you know, my age, and y'all are probably tired of that, but I actually went to high school. I was in high school in the early 90s, <laughs> so I can really relate to this. Now, the, this is so awesome. Okay, this, it's got a flip top. The scent on this, the scent profile, look how cool. This looks like it's got little planets in there, and the, the colors, I don't know that I've ever seen any whipped soap with, um, like, that bright that vibrant and those dark colors. So it's so cool. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is scented in. This is still on her site too. I cannot believe this is, this is not sold out. Okay. This is scented in. If you know what this means. It's scented in old school herbal essence shampoo and fizzy pops. So that means that the Herbal Essence Shampoo scent has the, um, I can't get it back open, has the little fizzy undertone in it. 
but it just takes me right back to that shampoo. Oh my gosh. I think there was, there was a hairspray that kind of smelled like that too. It was probably that same brand. Oh my gosh. And that kind of smelled like, um, what that kind of smells like, if you don't know, is like, um, like a tart apple. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. I love this. I absolutely love it. And I'm assuming, oh, I don't know. I was going to say those are little soaps in there, but I don't know what those are because they're, they're not super, super hard. Like I would think soaps are. They're kind of a little bit squishy. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'll just move on. I know y'all are sick of hearing about that now. Okay. I love that scent. Now that is such an original scent. I've never seen anybody list anything with the herbal essence um, scent profile before. That is so freaking cool. Okay. Now this is her, okay. Salty unicorn salt scrub. Now I've only had that I know of, unless I'm forgetting only one other salt scrub. I usually get sugar scrubs and most um, vendors do offer the sugar scrubs. Which baby has a salt scrub? Um, so let's check this out. And I'm honestly, the flip tops aren't my favorite lids. Um, the flip top lids. Candy Panda has these or they just switched um, to having these the last time I ordered. And they're not my favorite. And I know they may seem like they're like really user friendly. You put them in the shower and you just need one hand. But Honestly, they're really kind of hard to flip up and they hurt my thumb. That's just my opinion. Um, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, so that is the top of it. It's got a little unicorn horn and it's obviously three different colors and it looks like it's shimmery on the top. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that smells so freaking good. Now, this is scented in... Um, I think she said just like a saltwater taffy scent, but that breaks down to strawberry, raspberry, banana, cherry, sugar, wild berry, creamy vanilla, or creamy, and creamy vanilla taffy. <sighs> See, I'm hurting my thumb opening and closing this so much. Oh my God, that smells so good. Um, It smells... <sighs> I'm so bad at describing this. It does smell fruity. It just smells like candy. It does. It's def it's different. It's different than um, you know. It's definitely a unique blend. It's awesome. Okay, so these two scents are incredible. These are adorable. They're gonna put on some awesome bath art. This is sold out. I think all three of these are sold out. Um, you pretty much for most of her stuff, her new items. When they go up, when she does her restock, you kind of have to get them that day. Um, this one is still up there from what I can tell. But um, so definitely she has a bunch of stuff still on her website. So definitely go check it out. And um, if you know what this scent is or you're curious about it, definitely pick one of these up. It's, it's awesome. Okay, guys. So I'm going to actually head on into the bathroom right now and do a bath bomb demo because I haven't done one in so long for you guys. So... I just wanted to open that on camera and show you what I got. So I will see you back for the next demo, and I appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.